Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another vlog. It's early Friday morning. We're sitting outside of an estate sale, about to head in. If you're new to my channel, this is my boyfriend, Spencer, and we own a luxury resale website where we sell luxury clothing, shoes, bags, and accessories. So we're just gonna head in here and see what we can find. I know they had some cool pictures online of like some Louis Vuitton, or no, sorry, Louboutins, Louboutins yeah. um, with like cherries on them. They have like a Burberry coat. So hopefully we can get our hands on it. Um, but I figured I'd go ahead and vlog today since we are counting down the days left in New York City. And so soon we're gonna be out of here. Yeah, I feel like we're starting to get emotional. We do need to start packing here in the next few days. Um, probably not gonna pack today. We do need to get some supplies though and just kind of get ready for everything. I wasn't prepared for how much preparing you have to do before the actual move. Mm -hmm. um, so that's what's been going on. I feel like I'm kind of losing my voice and getting a bit of a cold. We have been doing so much lately just trying to get as much done as we can like the last few weeks last month or whatever mm -hmm. being here so I feel like we've kind of run ourselves dry and we're just like so tired last night we went to dinner with Spencer's family in the city um I know I mentioned a couple vlogs ago that his dad was running out this like amazing eight million dollar loft in Soho but unfortunately they ended up canceling on us they said they had spring breakers come in and like yeah, trash it the place. yeah they claim it was like thirty thousand dollars worth of damages uh, honestly I don't believe it I think they just like rent it to someone else yeah we're kind of like wondering if it was maybe a scam and like they wanted to rent it to their family or something because why would you rent something that nice to a bunch of spring breakers and how do you know like right away how much the damage was yeah. unless they're just exaggerating i don't know the case but that was so disappointing because we were all really looking forward to a fun few days um so that kind of got canceled unfortunately but we did end up just like having a day in the city and we met them for dinner which was nice so that was yesterday today is pretty much just like estate sailing and then we're gonna head back to our apartment and probably just try and get some work done and mm -hmm. catch up around there i did just get a package from run the runway i want to unbox for you guys and we also went to the tamara melon sample sale the other day i got the cutest pair of heels i cannot wait to show you guys i feel like they're so good for summer but i'm gonna go ahead and head in this estate sale because i don't want to be the last one in so i'll catch up with you guys after all right just finished up at the estate sale overall i think it was decent we didn't get the shoes i was telling you about they were asking pretty much what they were worth maybe even a little bit more um they had a lot of saint john but it was also very overpriced it was like a couple hundred dollars which is crazy and a lot of them had stains but we did get a couple good deals on some burberry coats and also on some prada bags and even a loro piana bag spence you want to go ahead and show that i figured i'd show you guys since we're sitting in the car yeah it's this it's has like leather trim i like the little dangly charms here it's cute um, this is the first Laurel Piana bag we've ever gotten in, which is yeah. kind of cool. And we then, don't see it much. yeah, no. And then we also got, like I said, a couple Prada bags. This one's more of a book bag, like a backpack, has the adjustable straps back here. And then on the side, it has the um, Prada logo charm. And then the other bag we got, it seems like it's selling for a lot. It seems like it's a good style. It's more of a messenger bag. Here's what it looks like. I feel like it's really practical to take to work or school. Like it would definitely fit a laptop and it has a nice shoulder strap, probably a good unisex bag. So mm -hmm. happy we found a couple of things because at first I was not thinking it was gonna be the best sale. And yeah, some things were definitely overpriced. But yeah. we found the found the small the little gems. Yeah, also I just wanna say I feel like most estate sale companies, the owners are always so rude. And cocky. Yeah, and cocky. As soon as we walked in she just like was lying right off the bat like one of the things she said is that the real world won't quit calling her which is an obvious lie i think the real world definitely doesn't need anyone's business they're not calling people asking for their stuff like Especially left and right stuff isn't amazing and the stuff wasn't amazing most of it was saint john which they typically don't even take and i mean they had a few nice things but it wasn't anything insane it's not like they had birkin bags and the real world's like begging for them and the real world's just not begging for anyone's business i mean if that were the case like they would be knocking on our door and that like it just made no sense and so that just kind of put a bad taste in my mouth because i just I hate like liars, so I don't know. That was annoying, but I'm glad we ended up getting some stuff and I feel like she was nicer towards the end. But mm -hmm. I think now we're gonna go pick up some boxes, maybe run to Home Depot and grab some stuff since we need to get supplies for packing. Um, if you guys have any like packing tips, feel free to comment down below because I feel like we could really use it. Especially like, for clothing. Like, I don't know yeah. what we're gonna do with our clothing. Yeah, another thing is like we just found out that our finish date for our house is 
being pushed back even further so our house isn't even going to be finished until like the end of june so we're basically homeless for like a month and a half thankfully we have our warehouse that we can stay in but it's really gonna suck not having like an actual house for a month and a half and i wish we would have known that i was getting pushed back because we probably would have extended our lease on our yeah, apartment definitely. or at least tried to um so that's gonna suck but we'll probably be making a couple trips like back to new york up until our house is built um just staying with spencer's dad and then we also talked about maybe just like staying in a hotel for a week or something so be fun. i don't know we're just gonna kind of play it by ear and see what happens right now our main focus is just getting packed up and getting out of our apartment which seems like we have way more stuff than we originally thought like we were thinking it was going to be an easy move no problem but obviously that's never the case but yeah our main thing is definitely going to be the clothing mm -hmm. and then also like plates and stuff i know like i kind of thinking just paper towels but i don't know if that's going to be good enough since we're it's like literally drive. moving states yeah, yeah. I don't know. So if you guys, some bubble wrap too. Yeah, maybe bubble wrap. If you guys have any other recommendations though, feel free to let us know. But we're gonna go grab some lunch and head to Home Depot. All right, what do you think we need? What size, like large? I don't know. You know what we just, I just remembered? We need a TV box. Oh, we do. Good thinking. Um, what kind of TV do you have? Medium? Large? I don't even remember. It's a square. Yeah, we need a large. I'll actually get it down. Let's go. Can I order first? Yeah. Hi. 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 Name for the order? Spencer. Okay, what can I get you? Um, could I get a number one extra pickle? Sure. Um, what just, drink would you like with that? Uh, just the sandwich. Sure. And then a small fry. All right, so obviously we had to wash down our Chick-fil-A with some Starbucks. We got a different drink than we usually do. What is it? An espresso, espresso. frappuccino? Yeah. Looks really, really good. Um, we decided just to share one, but we are about to head home now. Okay, we're finally back home. It feels so good. I'm so tired. Um, we did stop at Marshall's though on the way to Home Depot, which I don't think I showed. I did get a little book, which I probably won't even take out of the packaging until we get to our new house. But I just wanted to show you guys because I think it's really pretty. It was only 25 bucks. And I mean, for now, maybe I'll just go ahead and display it up here, like above the Tom Ford one. It just says Live Beautifully. It's like an architectural um, home interior book, but I thought it matched with the rest of the neutral thing i have going on here and i figured i could still take it to the new house also i want to show you guys my new sweatshirt i think it's super cute it's from fear of god it's just one of their like classic essentials sweatshirts i just tossed this on today it's actually really warm out now i think it's like 66 but this morning it was a little chilly um before we left for the estate sale but also, I figured I'd go ahead and unbox my Run the Runway. I wanted to show you guys what I got because I got some really cute spring pieces. I'm actually really excited to try these on and take some pictures in them. I think they'll be really cute. I tried to get some more vibrant, fun pieces just to like brighten it up for the springtime. You guys know I typically tend to stick to like more neutral tones, but I just wanted to try something a little more fun and I feel like Run the Runway is really good for that. But I'm going to go ahead and open this up. I'll go ahead and just like fast forward because I have to take all this plastic packaging off of it before I can even see it. Okay, so the first thing that I picked out, I thought this was really fun for spring slash summer. It's just a strapless jumpsuit. It's from Jean-Paul Gaultier's Fuzzy Fuzzy line. Um, I just thought it was really pretty. I love the like watercolor floral detail and I love the blue. I thought it was really nice. I think it's like a silk polyester material. I think it's going to be really nice though to wear just like out to dinner with a pair of heels. So I thought that was fun and I also don't think I have many um, jumpsuits. I did just recently buy one from Maurizio which is really cute but I thought that would also be nice to try out. And then I got quite a few little crop tops. They're all a little bit more dressy, like nice for dinner or brunch. This first one is a brand Marissa Webb. I loved the like white lacy detail and that it tied in the back. I thought it was just a nice added detail. Definitely would look good if I were to put on some like self tanner um, first. I feel like it would just make it look a lot nicer since it is white. And then these two tops, I kind of got to go with a skirt, which I don't know which one I'm gonna end up wearing and hopefully the skirt fits. It looks kind of big, but here's what the skirt looks like. It's kind of like this denim chambray, like 
layered ruffle skirt. I thought it was really cute. It's like a midi length. Then I thought it would be cute though paired with one of these crop tops, but I don't know which one. I'll probably try both of them on and the other one would probably just look good with like a pair of white denim, but I love this one. I think it's so cute. It's from the brand Bardo, um, but I love the like little lace eyelet like cut out detailing. And what's really cute about this is it's corset here. So I feel like it'll be really flattering and I like that it's kind of adjustable because of the like corset lace up detailing. And then the other one I also thought is gorgeous. I think this will look really nice with a pair of like white denim of some sort. Um, it's from the brand Amur and I just thought the pattern was really pretty. It's also like a satin material. But yeah, I'm really happy with everything I got. I need to try everything on because I don't know if it's going to fit yet. But I was thinking about maybe doing a TikTok trying it on. Um, I've been trying to post more over there. So if you guys aren't following me on TikTok, make sure you do that. Also, if you're wanting to try out Run the Runway, use my code LeahRTR for I think it's like 40% off your first few months, which is really good. Um, but that's pretty much what's going on. I think we may head up to the roof honestly since it's so nice today It's like gonna be 69. I think so we may head up there. I really need to tan I'm so pale like I was wearing shorts the other day and it was just not good Oh, also I did get a pair of shorts today at Marshall's. Let me go grab those to show you guys Okay, so these are the shorts I picked up at Marshall's. They're the brand Free People. And if you guys watched my shopping in Soho vlog, I actually bought these exact same shorts, but in a solid color. I forget what they're called, but they were really popular last summer. And I know they were like all over TikTok because they have this like thick waistband. They're kind of like almost boxing shorts, but they're really flattering because it like sucks you in at the waist and just really slims you down. Um, so I thought this pattern was pretty and they were super cheap too. They were like 15 bucks, so I couldn't pass on these. And then I also just remembered that I wanted to show you guys my new Tamara Melon sandals. So let me go grab those. Okay, I cannot wait to show you guys these. I feel like you're gonna freak out. They're so cute. They just look like something a Revolve girly would wear. I don't know how else to describe them. I'm so obsessed and I can't believe they fit because I think they're like a size 35, which I'm typically like a 36 and a half like 37 but I have a feeling these were like size wrong just the way that I don't know the sample sale was kind of weird but I'm obsessed with these and these are going to be my shoe of the summer I mean look at them they're actually stunning the color is so fun it's something that I feel like I typically wouldn't gravitate towards but I love that because I feel like it's going to push me out of my comfort zone it's a nice neutral green that it'll match with a lot of different things and I just love the rhinestones and like the strappiness I love that the heel's not too big so they're comfortable I just think these are the most stunning shoe and I'm so excited about these we also got a pair that are very similar um they're like more of a teal blue and I would have kept those but they're a bit of a higher heel and I just don't think I would get as much wear out of those so if you guys are interested in those I think they're a 36 and a half um they honestly fit about the same as this 35 so that's why I think these were sized incorrectly because there's no way these are 35 they're not that small so I'm really glad I ended up trying them on I had like no hope that they would fit but at the same time I just love them so much that I just had to at least try and sure enough they fit so I'm so excited about these um, and then I think we also may go back to the tomorrow melon sample sale tomorrow because I think there'll be additional discounts and the shoes are just so cute and they're such good deals so it's like hard not to go like several times and get more shoes but if they're marked down even more then I'm definitely gonna grab myself another pair because she has such good stuff also fun fact if you guys don't know who Tamara Mellon is she's the co-founder of Jimmy Choo I feel like a lot of people don't know that so that just goes to show that the girl knows what she's doing when it comes to shoes um, so yeah I was really excited about these and I couldn't wait to show you guys I changed into my new shorts from free people I really like them I honestly think I kind of like this pattern more than the solid color I got from the actual Free People store. Um, and then I just threw on this white Lululemon. It's like a bra slash top. And then I'm just wearing my Vate Haws about to head up to the roof to get tan. Um, it was really windy. We just walked Lucy. So I'm going to take my sweatshirt just in case. But also grabbed a LaCroix. These are my favorite. The Lemoncello. They're the best. So about to head up. Hopefully it's warm and can turn these pale legs into tan legs. <laughs> Never really showed our roof. It's so nice up here. Um, we have these like really nice large lounge chairs and an amazing view of the city. There's also this really cute sign over here. It says spread love. It's a Brooklyn way. It's like a cute little neon sign. But unfortunately there's no sun over here where the big chairs are. So we're gonna have to go around the corner where they have like just regular lounge tanning chairs. But this view is so pretty. All right, so it's a little bit later now. I just finished filming and posting my Rent the Runway try on haul for TikTok. 
go check it out if you haven't seen it yet. Follow me on TikTok, it's LeahLinXO. I think it turned out pretty good. I've been trying something new with TikTok. Obviously, I'm just trying to post a lot more in general, but I've also been trying to do longer form content because I personally just enjoy that better. That's why I love YouTube so much. It's easier to create a deeper connection with people and really get to know them. And I don't know, I just like it better than short form content. I mean, obviously I enjoy like a funny video and whatever, but I really enjoy following people and getting to know them. So I've been trying that over on TikTok because I feel like there's not too many people doing that. Also, I just started boiling some chicken back here for dinner. We're probably gonna just eat at home tonight. We've been eating out so much lately. Like, I don't even know, maybe like the past eight meals is really bad, but we've been trying to go to all of our favorite places before we leave. So that's kind of been our excuse. We're trying to decide though what we want to do for tonight. We have kind of been throwing around the idea of going to a comedy club. I don't know, we're either going to do that or maybe just stay in. There's so many Netflix shows that we could watch tonight. I know last night we started the Fall of Abercrombie, I think it's called. And it's basically just a documentary about Abercrombie and Fitch and how they were like so popular in the fall of it. And we only watched about 30 minutes and then we had to go to bed. So it was really interesting and we wanted to finish that. But I also think the new season of Selling Sunset came out, which I've been so excited for. It's one of my favorite shows. The only thing is I hate that now that we're watching it, like it just was released, we already know that Chriselle and Jason don't work out, so it kind of stinks that that drama's kind of ruined, but I'm still excited to kind of see how it all played out and everything like that, and I just love seeing like all the cool houses they show. Um, so we could also watch that, but I also think there may be a new episode of the Kardashians, which I also wanna watch, so we may end up just staying in and watching TV here and just having a chill night. But it also would be fun to go to the comedy club since this is really, it's technically our last weekend. Oh my God, we have to move out next weekend. That's so crazy. Wow, I cannot believe how fast time is going. Um, also, I did film an apartment tour about a couple weeks ago. So I think that'll be my next video after this one or there may be one in between. But get excited for that. I'm excited to show you guys our apartment. I was gonna show our building, all of our amenities and everything like that. I thought it'd be interesting and helpful for anyone that's moving to New York City. But I'm gonna have another LaCroix. I'm telling you guys, the lemon cello is by far the best flavor. It's so good. My mom and I are obsessed. Spencer, I feel like he, he likes it, but it's not his favorite. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Just making dinner, gonna have a calm little night and then decide later if we wanna go to the comedy cellar or not. But it's always a good time. It's just like trying to get there. That's the hardest part. All right, dinner just finished up. Lucy can't stop licking her lips. It's so funny. She'll like do that all she wants, but she would never even try to take a bite. She's such a good girl. Um, I just made barbecue chicken with some asparagus. Spencer made meatballs. We only had one piece of chicken left, so. I grabbed that and then we are about to finish watching White Hot Abercrombie and Fitch The Rise and Fall. It's really interesting honestly. Um, we're only 15 minutes in so I'm excited to finish it up. Also I don't think I ever showed but these are the roses that Spencer got me for Easter. They're not as alive and beautiful as they were a week ago but they still look super pretty. So about to eat dinner and watch the show. She's a Mona Lisa.